M0 FXP, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one again on using the SCU20 cable and for programming the FT3D. Uh, so this is not using the SD card, you can do that. And the ADMS11 free software. So go to Yesu here and go to the file section. We'll put the links in the description. Go to the bottom. Uh, first thing, get your, your USB driver and install that. Obviously you need to buy a SCU, it's a SCU 19 cable or 39. Um, so you can download the instructions to install that USB driver. But the main thing is connect the cable, uh, download the driver first before connecting the cable or the radio and everything will be fine. Um, so you've got instructions for that as well. Then go a, a bit higher and go to uh, the programming software, which is the ADMS. 11 I'm trying to find that. here it is here ft3d both of the both of these are our zip files um, so um, run them and and you'll have the software as well okay so once you've got that connect the uh, the cable the USB cable to your radio you know turn it off first you can see mine's on here and um, so turn it off connect it and turn it back on right so now you want to get it into programming mode so let's just quickly open the software so we know what that looks like so the software looks like this and i've never used it actually so if it goes wrong well, it will go wrong together so first thing we do is turn off the radio and to get it into cloning mode you have to uh, turn it off and hold down the disp button here before turning on and it will go into cloning mode so we'll do that now Right, there you go. We're in cloning mode there. I'm just going to double check you can actually see the radio because I know I move it around a bit. So yeah, I think you can see that pretty clearly. It's in, in cloning mode. So now go to the software. Um, you need to find the right div uh, COM port. So right click here, go device manager and double check. Now there is another way of doing this, but anyway, we'll just show you this. And look, it's number 13. Prolific USB to serial COM port 13. So go he here, communications, and you go to COM port, and it actually does give you the option here to open the COM port by clicking device manager. Once you've done it, drop down menu and click 13, and then click determine. That's fine. Now you want to talk to the radio. So we've got it in cloning mode. Um, so we've got receive and send on the front here. We're going to, um, I think we're going to send it to the computer, I think. So go communications get data from no get data from ft3d we're going to click that and we know we're in cloning mode and we're going to click ok now i think we i haven't done this so we're going to i'm going to push one of these send there you are and it's working you can see it's sending um so yeah take a couple of minutes but, you know, I just want to say that the FT3D is a fantastic radio. I know people moan about the speaker audio. And, yeah, I suppose it could be louder and less tinny. But this radio is, is fantastic and very good value for money. If you look at the new equipment that's coming out, this thing is dual band, C4FM, GPS, Bluetooth, sends photographs, works with a cable on the YSX P PDN system has the cam feature, can monitor five bands at the same time, has a built-in scope. Yeah, it's not a fantastic scope, but it, it's, it's quite good. has a group mode. Uh, we'll receive digital on the A and the B band. The design is lovely. It's a lovely design. It's a nice little package. It's a lot smaller than the, than the um, ICOM ID 52, uh, which you can see in other, my other videos. So I know this has taken a while, but um, I want to send it... Well, we've got it sending there, but I want it to. I want to watch it receive as well. Uh, but you pretty much got the nuts and bolts of it. I'll include in the description links on how to uh, do this. There'll be an instruction manual, USB files there, and you know all sorts of stuff. So let's just uh, wait for this to finish. So it's not fast. I mean, don't forget this is the free software. ADMS 11 is the free version. So it's they do tend to be a bit slower, but it's free. You can buy, I think, is it RT Systems, is it, you can get? Um, but, you know, to be honest, I always program using the radio. I don't tend to use programming software, but I thought I'd show this because I can. Right, okay, there you go. 
completed. So now we'll close and that should all populate with a bit. Like, there you are. There's all my memory channels. Um, these are all ones that I've just put in myself. And, you know, you've got all sorts of settings here. You know, VFOA, VFOB, home, banks, marine banks, weather, all sorts of stuff here. So right, let's have a go at going the other way. So we'll go send data to FT3DS. It's Again, we still need to be in cloning mode. And to come out of cloning mode, you just turn the radio on and off. So we're going to click OK, and it's telling us to... Is it sending it? Do we have to push send? So I'll push receive, and it says wait. All right, let's uh, click close. Let's do it again. There we go. I've not done this. All right. Send data to the FT3DS. Okay, there was an error, so... Let's uh, let what we'll, we'll do. We'll turn it off and on just to make sure. Like the who <laughs> uh, I've had this before. Where it's it's basically wiped it. So let me uh, just pause this. And um, I had this on the FT three hundred. We'll load it up uh, once. Let me load it up. Learn how to do it, and then I'll carry on. Right, back in cloning mode, let's try again. So, uh, I just put my call sign in, back in cloning mode. So now we're going to send the data to the FT3DS. We're going to click, right, <coughs> da, 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 da. touch receive. Right, let's touch receive. And then it says wait, and then we'll click OK. And hopefully it's going to get, yeah, something's happening now. It'll get what we just saved. Um... So I won't uh, make you go through all this again. I will say that at the end of this, click save here. Not here, sorry. This little blue square here. Click save and save this whole file just in case you lose it. Uh, so you can reload it onto the radio at a later date. So uh, like I said, you can use the SD card to do, to do the, to program this radio and it works very well, but that's a separate video. Um, and so 7-3, all the best.